Hello and welcome to Bags of Action. My name's Steve and this is a five minute review of The Matrix from 1999. One of the reasons I wanted to do this is that the film is 20 years old, which is quite surprising in a way because it feels like only five or six years ago that I watched it originally. There aren't many films that came out that you can genuinely say changed the face of cinema, but this is absolutely one of them because the Wachowskis invented a lot of technology that just didn't exist. And like James Cameron, other people have then gone on to use it and reinvent it and push it further. But they were the people that did it first with bullet time. If you're around when the film first came out and watched it at the cinema, it's difficult to describe to somebody who would watch it today. It was one of those rare moments where I came out of the cinema, stared at my friend and asked him what just happened. We'd seen a couple of trailers and we went in not knowing very much about the film. And when we came out, our minds had been completely blown by the experience. Normally you might watch a film and then have a short chat with somebody afterwards. But this was something like an hour's conversation. We were trying to unravel not only what we'd seen, but how they'd done it. Because we'd never seen anything like it before on the big screen. For those who haven't seen the film, the story is about a man called Neo who's living in a world that doesn't feel right. There's something just out of sight that's causing him to question everything, not only his life and everything that he takes for granted, but the world itself. He feels as if there's something completely askew, but he can't explain it or why. As the film goes on, you begin to understand what the nature of the problem is with the world, which then leads you into the Matrix. Thereafter, the film becomes an extremely high-octane action thriller, full of amazing special effects, the cast is outstanding, the CGI, whilst it might not be up to par from what we've seen today, at the time it was cutting edge, and it was absolutely astonishing and really amazing to see on the big screen. The fight scenes would often start out quite ordinary and then they'd progress or somebody would suddenly break the laws of gravity and you didn't understand at first how it was happening or why and our minds were constantly being blown by this film. Around the time that they were making it, they auditioned and spoke to lots of different people to be in the lead role. I remember seeing an interview recently with Will Smith where they said he was approached to be in the role of Neo, but because the technology didn't exist, when they were trying to explain to him that he'd jump in the air and cameras would spin round him, and it was all done in a very brief presentation with word of mouth, he couldn't get his head round it and he didn't understand what was going on, so he turned down the role. Likewise, Sean Connery was also approached to be in this film, we suspect in the role of the Oracle, but we're not sure, and he turned that down too because he couldn't understand what they were going on about. This film is really groundbreaking, and since it's been out, a lot of other people have copied it in terms of special effects and the style, and there's been parodies too as well. But if you go back and watch this film, which is now 20 years old, which is still kind of mind-blowing, it still holds up because it is a remarkable spectacle that you need to see on a really good TV or at the cinema. The sequels that followed were pretty good, but they never quite hit that mark. And in some ways, I wish they'd just stuck with the one film, which ends on a hell of a cliffhanger, but it gives you some resolution, which is all you really need. If you didn't see this film when it first came out, or you haven't seen it at all, try to keep in mind the era when it came out. The film undoubtedly draws some of its inspiration from the wire work that was common in Hong Kong action cinema, but the Wachowskis added so much more to it that we hadn't seen in a Western cinema before. These days, trailers can completely spoil a film, so you've seen a good portion of the story and you know what's going to happen. When The Matrix came out and we saw a couple of trailers, even with what they'd shown, we didn't really have any idea what the film was about. It showed you some of the action scenes, it showed you some of the things that were impossible, but the huge secret at the core of the film was never revealed in any of them. I don't think a film has surprised me at the cinema as much as when I saw this film for the first time. Watching again after 20 years... I'm struck by not only the way that the film looks, but also the sound and the soundtrack as well. The colours in the film are amazing, the costumes, all of the weaponry and the special effects, 
overall, it's just an outstanding film, and I'd have to give it a maximum five out of five bags. If you haven't seen The Matrix, then I highly recommend you watch it as soon as possible and consider seeing the second two films if you really want to see more, but they're nowhere near as good, in my opinion. So if you've seen The Matrix, get in touch and let us know. You can contact us by Facebook, Twitter or email. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.